G'day guys, welcome back. I had so much fun doing that swipe yesterday. I'm gonna go again, but I'm gonna try not to get so much navy in the middle, because I loved it. Loved that pour. I've never, ever, ever had such good cells from a swipe. Um, I'll show you the pour that I'm talking about. This is it here, I did that yesterday. It's dry around the edges, but I can see that it's still a bit damp just in a few areas there. But um, isn't that gorgeous? So happy with those cells. But see how much navy I've got? Like it's, it's a lot there. Um, and because it's so thick with the navy, I don't have any cells coming through. So I'm gonna see if I can get a little bit less navy. Um, and then um, we'll have a, a nice little set of two, hey? Because I think they'll look pretty together. And before I get started, I'll show you my pour that I just did recently. This was the purples and the teals. So that's come up really pretty. That was the one where I did five flip cups and I tried to get a little bit of movement in it. So I really like that. Um, I would like to do another one where I just maybe do more cups and have it quite stripy and see how that goes. So that'll be coming up soon, no doubt. Right, oh, I'll pop that away and we shall get started. I'm using my pouring medium that I always use which is the 60% glue 40% water and when I do my flip cups I use that one part pouring medium to one part paint but today I'm using one and a half times of this pouring medium to one part of the Montmartre Studio acrylic so that's that there that's these colors the red is brilliant red this orange is mixed 50 50 orange with yellow so it's a little bit brighter. This is turquoise. I've got a little bit of white left from yesterday. And my navy is just the phthalo blue with some black. Now your swipe color has to be thinner. So it's two parts pouring medium to one part paint. These are one and a half to one. That one's two to one, okay? I've got my plastic sheets. Um, they were just document holders that I cut up. You know, it had a little flap over it with the press stud and you could put documents in it. So I just cut that up. That's my swiping tools. I prefer them to um, paper towel because they've got a little bit more weight in them. You know, I can drag a little bit more paint across. So I just find I get a better result with the plastic sheets as opposed to <clears throat> paper towel. Uh, what else can I tell you? Let's do the spot on treadmill silicone for cells and we'll put in three drops now i've made a little bit extra of the red because that's going to go on the bottom i'm going to have turquoise orange and red and because you need more of the bottom color because when you swipe the bottom color gets pretty much pushed off so you need to have more of it and start further up. I'll show you when I start layering the, or pouring out the paints, what I mean. If I put a little bit of red like this on the bottom, it would just get all swiped off and, and you wouldn't even see the red at all. So just make up, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still trying to fight this flu. I always have a bit of a frog in my throat in the mornings. It's been a few months now had the flu shot. I'm never having the flu shot again. I don't know whether it's got something to do with it or not, but hey, the chemicals and things that go into those flu drugs, I tell you. Okay, give that a good stir. Now there's no silicone in the white. There's no silicone in the navy. If you wanted to, you could just put the silicone in your swipe color and not bother with it in your other colors. So one or the other not both. Right, let's move these out of the way. I'm going to start with my turquoise. So I'm going to leave a little gap. Is that kind of centered? Mm, not really. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap in the middle. Once I start tilting it's going to fill in anyway but that's just to give me a bit of an idea of where I want the paint to, to sort of start. So I've got 90 grams of pouring medium and 60 grams of paint. 
So that's three ounces of pouring medium, two ounces of paint, and this is a 50 by, what is it? 50 by 60? No, I don't think so, no. It's a 40 by 50 centimeter canvas, which is I think 16 by 20 inches. I'm just gonna spread this a little bit. And then we'll go with our orange. Just overlap that attach. So you need about 750 grams of mixed paint for this size. Um, only so that you've got enough to sort of tilt it, tilt the canvas and you know spread the paint around a little bit. Because you do need to sort of get over your edges as well. So need a little bit more. Okay, and now the red. And I'm going to push some of the red over my sides. Because I want to try and keep the lines as straight as possible. I mean, they will move, obviously, when I start tilting, but I do want to keep them in their separate lines as much as I can. Some of that off. Is that covering that side there? See the the two short sides I'll tilt um, but I don't really want to tilt it down this way too much because I don't want my lines to be moved too much so let's just pick up some of that paint and finger paint the sides here these long edges. Okay, that is done. It's a bit messy swipes, isn't it? Now let's pop a little bit of white through, a little bit through the turquoise, a little bit through the white, other uh, yellow, just like that, just a little bit. None through the red because I don't want pink. And now you just sit there for a minute, Mr. Blue. We'll just go. Off to the sides. We can't keep too much paint on the surface. We do need to get rid of some of it. Okay, so that's kind of keeping the, the lines, isn't it? Now, I just need to put a little bit of blue in here and I can pick that up and put it back there that'll be all right All right, so I'm just basically leaving a little gap for the navy. If you're doing this and your gap gets filled in with other colours, don't worry too much. Just get your finger and push like this to make a new little gap, okay? Don't worry too much about it. Now, I'll put the navy down the centre, and the trick for this is don't use too much navy. One pass, just to fill in that gap. 
Winky Ducks. That's it. Just one. Let's fill it back in just a little bit, basically just pushing it in. I don't want to add too much paint. If you put too much navy in, you're going to have, because that'll spread out, you'll have like navy this thick. So try not to put too much of your swipe colour in. And there we go. We are ready to swipe with the exciting part. And I've got the paper towel organised. Let's bring the piece up. And you can see that I've got more red. Well, I have on this side anyway. That, that side, not so much. That's all right. One side will have more red than the other. Okay, now grab your bits of plastic. Make sure that your feet are well situated, one foot in front of the other, so that when you lean back, you can transfer the weight from your front foot to your back foot. Otherwise, if your feet are next to each other, you're probably going to fall over. And try not to have um, points like that. You're better off having a, a circle. So just cut their corners off. Just so that the corner doesn't dig. Righto, so now we're going to try and put half of the plastic into the navy and just sit it there. Because you need the other half for the other side. And drag. If you drag slowly, you're more likely to sort of do a bit of a wobble. So just, just go for it. Wipe that off there. And we'll turn that around. And use the other side. You need to overlap those so that the colours don't push up like this and you get a ridge of colours down the centre. So make sure that you've overlapped enough. Again, half into the navy. Plastic in half the navy, I should say. Okay, so where you, your little join is, you are going to have a line there. Um, it's just how it is. If you then tried to swipe over that line to get rid of that, you would have ended up with a line on this side and a line of that side and darker blue in the middle. It's just how it is. If you've got if you're concerned about it, um, maybe you could do turn it that way and have maybe a few so that you've got more blue stripes. Or if you've got a, one big sheet of plastic, you could use the one big sheet so that you don't get those lines. But um, for me, it really doesn't matter. I'm not too concerned. It just adds to the art. Make sure you take your hands around the outside so you don't drip onto the center because then you'll disrupt your beautiful blue background. Now I need to get another piece of paper towel. Here's one. It's good to have everything organized before you start. Have your paper towel ready, have your plastic ready to go. All right, now we're gonna use the other half of the blue and I'm gonna offset this line just so it's not totally in the middle. Let's drop that down gently. Try not to push on it, otherwise you're going to get a ridge. Let's drop it down gently into the paint. And off you go. Wipe that off. And I'm going to turn it around and use the other side because I want this curved area here. So I'll overlap that again. Done. Still got quite a lot of navy in the middle though, haven't I? <laughs> Considering the amount I put on, it was very minimal. One little stripe of blue. I guess you could have got away with less, but hey, I do like the contrast between the, the dark navy and the light colours, the light blue. So let's do some torching now and see the magic happen. But 
not going to get cells in the centre because A, there was no colour under the navy and B, the navy is quite thick there. The paint's quite thick in the middle, so we're unlikely to get anything through the centre, which is fine. That's how I like it. I, for me, personally, I, I don't like... Uh, cells everywhere. I prefer to have that negative space in the middle, somewhere for the eye to rest. But that's me. If you, you know, you don't have to do it like this. You could just pour paint over the whole thing, and then put your navy over the middle, and then swipe, and then you'll get cells up through the middle, through your navy. If, if you prefer, you can do that. Come on, cells, up you come, up you come getting much in the way of the red cells coming through. I wonder if my red was a little bit on the thick side. But a lot of my red was uh, pushed off. <laughs> so the cells will come up and then they will stretch and grow a little bit. So you just need to be patient and wait for them. My red was a bit thick. To me it looked too thin and I added an extra blob of paint so I probably shouldn't have done that because now my red's a bit thick so it's, it's having trouble coming through. It's a bit of a shame but uh, they, they still may grow a little bit. I won't discount them just yet. Torching. I'm not going to get anything else through. I'm just going to burn the paint if I keep going. <clears throat> and we'll give give this red time to, to come through. I've got a lot of little speckles um, and that's from um, bubbles popping because I've just mixed up the paint. Red paint tends to be thicker and I usually add 10 grams less paint. That's what I did in the previous pour. Um, this one. And you can see how big the red cells are because they were a bit, the red was thinner in this mix. The red cells here, as you can see, are much smaller. So, actually all the cells are smaller, aren't they? But they're, they're pretty. These ones, when, they, when you have a thinner mix um, and your cells grow, as these have done, they can, you know, bump into each other and, and change shapes because they're knocked into each other. Whereas if you have your mix a little bit thicker like this mix, um, the cells tend to stay more separated and more round. So it's a different look. Still really pretty and they'll make a lovely pair side by side. But it uh, just gives you the, the opportunity to see the difference with the different mixes. This one's a little bit thicker. Just going to touch up my sides. Actually, I think that's white. <laughs> I was thinking it was canvas, but it's not. It's the white that's popped through from when I did my little white drizzle through. Okay, so these red ones are coming up now. And you can see what I mean about not having very much red there because most of it gets pushed off. Um, when you're swiping and it's not something that you want to tilt it really isn't because you know your, your lovely round cells will be all um, overstretched and wobbly so don't, don't tilt it let's see if I can get some more red down the bottom there the cells popping up down the bottom in here, hey? Oh, look, there they come. Little things. Little baby cells. Okay. <laughs> I'm going a bit crazy with the torch. I did want some more red down the bottom, though.
Alrighty, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the cells may grow a little bit more, but they're really not going to change a lot. So what do you think? Do you like that one with the smaller cells? Or do you prefer this one with the bigger cells? Oh, I don't know. I really like this one. Bigger. This is more minimal, hey, because they're bigger, but there's less of them. And this one, I just went crazy with the torch, so got many more cells. They're smaller. And they're cute. I've still got lots of navy down the centre. Okay. <clears throat> I'll have to um, reduce my swipe stripe. Swipe stripe. That's a cute little thing to say. Just swipe stripe. Okay, so it's very much like my Caribbean paws that I've been doing, you know, with sim similar colours. And because it's got the stripe down the centre and you've got... Um, cells on one side and then it mirrors it on the other side this is like a reflection swipe I call these reflection swipes because it does kind of look like a reflection hey maybe it's even a sunset it's got the sunset colors so let's go down for a close-up I'm glad the reds come out now to say hi but you can see how small the red cells are I should have stuck to what I know and just left the red a little bit on the thinner side. Because I do know that the red needs to be thinner than the other colours. It's just one of those colours. And browns are like that too, I find. Must have similar pigments. So lots of multicoloured cells rings around them it's quite busy this one but i i do like it what do you think do you prefer this one or do you prefer the more minimal one with the bigger cells and less of them hmm tricky to decide well you let me know in the comments anyway and i might do another one maybe we can change up the colors a little bit what colors would you like to see in the swipes would like to do a metallic swipe too because um, i've got my new metallic Montmartre paints now well i've only got gold and silver but uh, maybe i can do a, a metallic swipe for you and see how that goes all right that'll be me signing off to get ready and go and get my hair done today before Christmas. Hey, I don't really want to because I'm going to be in there for three hours and I don't want to sit in the hairdresser for three hours. But hey, we just need to do these things, don't we? Sometimes us women go and get our hair done ready for Christmas. All right, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a go at swipes, and um, I will see you for the next video. Alrighty, bye for now.